Good morning, everybody, and God bless you. My name remains Sister Faith, your sister. I'm here this morning to speak to us about a topic I titled One Thing I've Wanted to Sleep. I know you, where you are, you have one thing in your mind that is bothering you, or maybe it's like a revelation to you, and you just feel like people are not getting it, or maybe if people are getting it, it's just few people who understand what you are understanding. So that is what I am here to share mine, because sometimes we feel like we want to speak out that one thing that bothers us. Okay, so this morning I am speaking about the topic, one thing. I have wanted to see. So you are welcome to this live broadcast. God bless you. So that one thing that I've wanted to say uh, for a long time is to let people know that before we come to this earth, we have been written in the palm of God. Everything concerning us has been written. Our lifestyle, the way we, we live, why, where we are, Everything about us, what, what we have, what we don't have, all of them has been written before we arrive on this earth. Remember, we are here on a journey. A script has been written about us in heaven by God. Before we were born, God has created us and he has written everything that I am going to fulfill on earth and he has written for you and for every other person. So, and that is why our faces are different. The purpose of God for, in our life is different as well. So what am I trying to say? So many people want to live like every other person. You want to live like your friend. You want to live like your neighbor. You want to live like the next dog person. But I want you to know that you, were, you are not created like that person. You are not created the same. So... What am I trying to say? That you are rich today is not by your power. It's not because you copied that person. It's not because you are hardworking. No. That you are poor today is not because you are lazy. No. Whatsoever you are today is made by God. It is written from the day you were formed in, before you were formed in your mother's womb. Just as the Bible said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. So, brothers and sisters, who you are today is not by your own making. It's not by the making of your parents. No. It's not by the making of the society. It's not by the making of the economical meltdown or goes up. It's not. It's not because of anything. It's just because that is how we were created to be. If you are rich today, you have been created before you were born to be rich. If you are poor today, you have been created to... To be poor for a moment like this. And maybe to be created to be poor today and be rich tomorrow. Some people were created to be rich from the onset. So you should not compare yourself to any other person. Because everybody comes differently. For a particular purpose to be fulfilled. So be some people were created to have only one child. Some were created to have only two. Some were created to have ten. Some were created to have fleets of cars. And some were created to have just one. Some were created to have aircraft. Some were created to have so many things. Just like I am created to be fair in color. And you are created to be maybe dark or chocolate or brown in color. Anyone you can call it. Some people were created to be fairer than me. Okay, so that is how all of us are. So in any way you are, do not say, I don't like this.